Hello serverless people, in this video we'll explore the different options to create a serverless cron job. If you don't know what is a cron job, it's a scheduled job that will be executed at specific times in the future. Before serverless you will need an EC2 instance or a server which will execute this task at the time configured by the cron file. But here we want to focus on serverless solutions. So let's see how we can create a serverless cron job in 2022. The first component we need is the scheduler and for this we're going to use event bridge. With event bridge you can create a scheduler event to trigger an AWS service. In our case we're going to use Lambda. So let's move to the AWS console and see what we need to do. Alright, so we go on the event bridge console. You go in here, create rule. Let's call it cron job example. Description can be the same. Event bus is going to be default. And here you have to decide the rule type. So it is the rule with an event pattern. So based on the event pattern, the event bridge is going to be triggered and send the event to the target or schedule, which is the thing that we need since we are like defining a cron job. So let's let schedule go to the next step. And here you see there is like you can set the cron expression. If you don't know what is like a cron expression, it's something well defined. You can see, you can check examples on Google. There is like, you can specify seconds, minutes, hours, day of the month, month, day of week, year. So you, so you can define where to uh, fire the event in a very fine grained matter. In our case, since it's just an example, we can use a simple schedule. So we're going to set, let's say that the rule is going to be called every minute. So I'm going to put here value one for minutes. So every minute the event bridge is going to trigger the event. Next step is to select the target. As I said before, I'm going to use a Lambda function and the architecture is as simple as that. So as simple as this thing. So cron job is going to trigger the event bridge, which is going to trigger a Lambda function. Have already created the Lambda function in advance. So here I'm going to choose Lambda and here I'm going to choose my function, which is cron Lambda cron job. Here you can configure the different um, versions or aliases that you want to use for this specific rule. In my case, I'm going to be use the default. Here you have like a few uh, additional settings like the dry policy, that letter Q. We don't need this for the example. So let's, let's go on the next step. It's just tags. And then here is like review and clear and create. And this is the final step. So we're going to define the rule. It's going to run every minute and it's going to have the target, the Lambda function. So let's create the rule and move to the uh, Lambda function now. All right, I am on the Lambda function. So what we did is configure a cron job that's going to run every minute. AWS doesn't ensure that the, the cron job is going to be triggered on the exact start of the minute, but it's going to be triggered within that minute. We don't have like seconds granularity when we schedule the events like this. If you want seconds granularity, you need to go with the cron job expression. For our, for, the, for our example, we don't need that, so I stay with this. And the Lambda function is just a simple function that returns 200 OK and console log the event. In this way, we will see, we, were, we will be able to see the Lambda function has been triggered. And to do that, I'm going to go on the monitor and we should be able to see the logs and also when the Lambda function has been triggered. So let's see the recent invocation, if it's been popular yet. If I go on the metrics, you will see here there is one invocation, right? So I would expect that this invocation matches also with the logs in CloudWatch. So let's have a look. I navigate the logs and we should see the event. There you go. Here you have the event, scheduled event. You have like a few details about the uh, event. The event payload is going to be sent to the Lambda function. Here is the second one, you see, at 24 and 40 seconds. So as I said, it's not at the beginning of the seconds. Like this one is, for example, 23 and 40 seconds. Let's see the next one, just out of curiosity, when it's going to be triggered. Again, it has been triggered 26 and 40 seconds. So probably it's like a pattern. So this was like a very simple example on how you can use the, uh, how, how can you configure the cron job? And have you seen that how simple it is to create a cron job with a server solution. In the previous case, the Lambda function was just, you know, logging the event and send it 200 OK, which is not needed really, but you can implement more complex use case. So what you can do is actually add a Lambda function which checks on a DynamoDB table every, I don't know, one hour, the jobs that has to be executed. So let's say in the DynamoDB table, you have the uh, items, which refers to, a, to specific jobs. The Lambda function every hour is going to check, okay, I need to do 
n number of jobs and then it's going to dispatch the jobs again using event bridge. This way you have like a scheduling event that every hour is checking the jobs that has to be triggered to event bridge. And from here, remember you are in on event bridge so you can send to multiple AWS services. So let's say you can send every hour a marketing email or an SMS or trigger a CI, CD pipeline. It's really up to you. But with this like uh, freedom that event bridge gives us, you can really like be creative and create cron job and minutes as we just proved. All right, guys, that was it. We've seen how easy it was to create a cron job with a completed server solution. As you can see, you can be very creative with what you can build. Let me know if you have any questions in the comments. Let me know if you try to get a cron job. Remember to subscribe if you want to see weekly uh, serverless content on YouTube. Thanks again for watching and see you on the next one.